Hello everyone, I'm going to show you Jamboard. If you are familiar with G Suite, uh, they have different apps and one of that is Jamboard or Google Jamboard. Now to open uh, Google Jamboard, there are two ways that what you can do is you can go to your Google Drive. So I'm here in my Google Drive and you click New and here you click More and in More you have the Google Jamboard. So you click that so that you can open a blank uh, Jamboard. Or uh, directly here in the address bar you can type there jamboard.google.com okay and then you press enter and then you can have a blank uh, jamboard okay so jamboard is a free app uh, of google and it's an interactive whiteboard so if you are familiar with whiteboard in zoom zoom has a whiteboard okay but you can actually use Jamboard if you are having your if you are having your um, online synchronous classes. So you can open this while you are in Zoom or other um, uh, meeting app. So uh, the good thing about here is that you can have a lot of whiteboard. So let's say for example, it's uh, the tools here are very simple. So I'm here. I'm in this uh, blank Jamboard. So you can actually put a title here. Let's say for example uh, science let's say for example uh, that's the title of my jump board and here we have our tools okay that you can use we have the pen we have the eraser we have the select we have the sticky note and we have the add an image okay if you want to add an image and then we have some shapes if you want to use some shapes and then we have text box here if you want to write something and then we have a laser especially if you want to point out something then you can use this one and of course you can also change the background of your whiteboard so we have a, we have dots we have face okay so to make it more appealing to for your learners you can actually change the uh, the color okay the background's color so and then the good thing here is if you are if you have a lot of materials already in this board you can add more so you're here okay if you click this arrow here you can create a new frame so this is your second frame and then you can add more okay you can add more so let's go back to the first frame here okay just to show you so i'm viewing jamboard uh, through my laptop okay there is an app Okay, there's a Jamboard app for cell phones, for your smartphones. You can download the app. Okay, your students can download it. And again, I like this because you you see this. Okay, this is a good thing about uh, Google is that it promotes collaboration. So if you want your students or you and your students to collaborate on a particular uh, topic or discussion, you can just share your Jamboard. So you click share. And once you click share, um, what you can do if you want to collaborate with your learners you can add their emails here okay uh, well I'm very particular when it comes to the uh, restriction of the of the things that I'm sharing to my students so I would I would really want to make sure that only my students have access on on that project so I make sure that I add them uh, in that project through their email so let's say for example I'm going to add this email and you can select if your student will be an editor or as a viewer okay so since you want them to collaborate to add materials in the jump board then you can assign them as editor and then you can send that to them okay uh, they're not okay so sure anyway so that's how I do it or if it's okay for you if others can have access in that jump board project what you can do is click share and here you change the restriction you can change link and then you can choose here anyone with the link so that means that anyone who have the link okay can be a viewer or an editor so if you want them to add to be contributors in your Jamboard project anyone who has the link can be editor then you choose editor and then copy the link so it's up to you on what will be the restriction of your Jamboard project so again you can copy the link and then you go to you can paste this in uh, on any social media 
but for me I will post this in Google Classroom okay especially if I'm going to ask um, the opinions or idea of, of my students in a particular subject so let's go back here so I've changed the, f the background of my project and we have the undo and the redo just in case you had a mistake so you can so the, actually the the tools here are very basic so you have the pen here okay so in the pen you can choose different colors here you can have marker you can have highlighter you can have brushes so let's say for a pen you can write here you can make a doodle let's say for example you can draw okay so you can draw or um, you can draw circle if you want okay you can draw square Okay, it's up to you if so particularly if you want to write something or let's say for example you are trying to explain a certain formula let's say force is equal to mass uh, times acceleration so I'm using my mouse so that's why my writing here but if you have your pen that will be better so if you had a mistake okay so there are some mistakes here you can always use the eraser here click the eraser and then you can erase uh, those uh, uh, things that you don't want in your jump board okay and if this is a uh, full again you can proceed to the next uh, jump board so here may I change the background okay I would like it to be and you can put some sticky notes and you can choose the color whatever the color or if you don't want uh, if it's colorless okay so let's just um, what is science you can pose as a teacher or they can answer as a, your students can answer what is science um, or my favorite uh, fruit is uh, watermelon watermelon so let's say for example um, this is just an example so save okay and then you can have this sticky note here and if you see this uh, dots here in this corner that means that you can rotate okay your sticky note okay or you can resize them okay you can resize them and if you see this uh you see the cursor here so that means that you can draw the sticky note anywhere in the in your uh, jump board or in this frame and then here if you see the three dots here that means you can edit you can duplicate or delete it okay so Let's say for example, I would like it here and I would like to add some picture in my sticky note and I can do that. So if you see here, you can add, add an image and if you click that, you can have your options so you can choose where you want it to, where you want to get the picture. So let's say for example, I would like to use the Google image search and I would like to type here watermelon, watermelon. watermelon. So I'm going to choose this one here and then select and then it will be inserted here so just like your sticky note let's just wait for it to be uploaded just like your sticky note you can rotate the picture you can also resize it by uh, clicking uh, dragging uh, um, hold and then dragging uh, uh, resizing the picture so you can put it there here and you can also have the option here if you click the three dots here for the picture you can have the option if you want it to be sent to backward or send backward or send to back so just like that if you want to but i would like it to be move uh in front okay so again you're if since if you will be sharing this this jump board to your students they can you can see them uh in real time or you can see them adding um uh, answers or uh, projects here okay and the good thing here is once you are done Okay, in this jump board, what you can do is here in this, if you click these three dots here, you can actually download it as PDF and you can give it to your students. You can print it or you can save it as an image. And again, you can print or give it to your uh, students. So again, if you are having your online synchronous and then you use jump board and whatever writings, whatever things that you put in the jump board, you can always download it, save it as P PDF, save it as a frame, and then you can, you can give it to your students. Okay, so again, I would like you to try jump board for your online, online class, online synchronous or asynchronous class. This is very, very helpful for us because you are not just limited to just one 
um, whiteboard but you can have a lot of whiteboard if you want to discuss a lot of things in a particular topic in your subject.